What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Zach and I'm going to be doing another mod review. Uh, today we've got Chernaris 2035. It is a updated version of Chernaris that has uh, a lot of extra stuff, uh, a lot of inspiration from DayZ, and uh, basically all kinds of goodies to play around with with your clans or whatnot, and uh, a whole bunch of uh, set pieces for really cool scenarios. And uh, my clan's been playing with it for a little while. We've done a bunch of different stuff, whether it be like, you know, Daisy zombie themed or, you know, like a post apocalyptic something something. Uh, overall, the map's pretty good. And I'm just going to show off a couple of the highlights and talk about it while we go through it. And uh, I've just got an overhead view of the map here. It's got all the custom little islands and stuff down there. It's actually got. Uh, Oots or Utes Island. I know that's a map on its own in CUP, so that's kind of cool that it's integrated into this map here. Uh, you can see the power plant to the southwest. You can see the big island to the south. Uh, the whole section to the east, it's not done yet, but it's there. Uh, and then all the custom towns, you can probably see some extra stuff in there, especially that Petrovka nuclear power plant uh, to the north. Lots of stuff in there. Lots of stuff. Uh, plenty of custom little areas to explore. I think I, think I had the fog really far up right here. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, probably going to turn that down. Yes, yeah, so this is just, uh, I'm pretty sure this is another little custom area. Uh, just some cool little quality of life, extra terrain that they added. If you like Trenaris, you'll definitely like this map right here. There's some parts of the map that are like not even finished yet, and I don't know if they're still even working on this this mod. I'm, I'm just reviewing it as it is. Uh, the whole eastern section of the map past this little tunnel is uh, completely not even done yet. I mean, there's uh, there's there's roads and some foundations, but that's pretty much about it. And here, like I said, we've got uh, the southern uh, power uh, nuclear power plant. It's um, just an island off the coast to the southwest uh pretty small but we've done stuff there too it's kind of cool for some small scale engagements maybe some uh nuclear hostage situation i don't know it's, it's complete with a dock just to the left of the screen you should see that and uh yeah it's once again it's pretty nice and they've got like a little easter egg here it says bad i don't know exactly what that is a reference to all right we've got chelinogorsk to the south or maybe it's chernogorsk either one of the two it's a big city on the south side of Trenaris. It's uh, really densely populated with a lot of items, and uh, it's changed a lot since you know the original Trenaris uh, into this one. They've added uh, a lot of objects like um, garbage, a lot of trucks, well, basically just cars, trucks, everything super old and rusty, as you see there. I'm pretty sure they've added a couple buildings in there too, made the city a little bit bigger. Um, very post-apocalyptic very everything's destroyed and uh it looks really really good but it just it kind of hurts the frames a little bit because right now i'm getting like 40 43 frames in here with nobody in there except for me so you know it can be a little stressful for some people's pcs i don't have a super high-end pc but i have a decent rig and like i said i'm getting like 42 frames in here uh running about 2,000 view distance so i don't know with your communities if people tend to have higher frame rates in, in urban areas like that, you guys can probably do the mission there. All right, well, that pretty much wraps up Chernaris 2035. Uh, overall, out of five, I would give it a probably about a four and a half. The only reason I take off a half point is because there's that whole, like, super unfinished area, and maybe some of the towns are a little too dense, but maybe that's just because I have a casual PC. Either way, like I said, four and a half, I'd recommend it for your community. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and feel free to leave a like and a comment and uh, subscribe and whatnot.